Hey everybody, this is uh, Scrotes here, and today we're doing another little rant style video. Uh, this time, instead of tackling a specific SCP like 079, we're going to be tackling something that affects all of the SCPs, and that is Hume Shield. Um, for a while, I thought Hume Shield was pretty okay. I didn't have too many problems with it. I thought it was sometimes annoying, especially in uh, Parabellum. Um, but with 12.0, we did the Hume Shield scaling thing, and it made it severely less annoying to go against. Um, I still think, however, that it is overall a pretty unhealthy thing that is unhealthy for human players, which is 75% of the game. Um, there's no doubt that it's made playing SCP a lot more relaxed, a lot less frustrating sometimes, but it's at a pretty big cost of making the more common role that people are stuck with most of the time, which is, you know, like MTF and Chaos and stuff, um, it's made playing that role more unfun, which most people agree that playing human is boring. They, they want to play SCP all the time. Like, you go onto a server where you're allowed to, like, pick your preferred class, and, like, two-thirds of the server is sitting in the SCP side. Like, you got a handful of people that are probably on Class D or Scientist with nobody on Facility Guard, but almost, everybody's go almost everybody wants to play SCP all the time. So, we already... We already have the human classes that people don't want to play, and then we have this mechanic that makes playing human classes even more unfun. And this is basically because Hume Shield is... It's pretty one-sided, basically. It's... It's not very... It's not engaging to go against. It's nothing fun. Um... Now, the thing is, when, when people want to defend Hume Shield, they immediately... Like, the first thing people will say is like, Oh, but if you take away Hume Shield, then all the SCPs are going to do is just camp. And it's like, uh, here's the thing, with or without Hume Shield, camping is always going to be the most powerful strategy, most of the time. But at least, without Hume Shield, sometimes camping and playing passively is not the best option. Because if you're slowly taking chip damage over time, and not, you know, taking big chunks of damage from trying to get a very important kill, or pushing humans, um... That chip damage over time, if you're not taking any risks and not getting any rewards, that chip damage is just going to kill you. You're just going to die. Whereas with Hume Shield, you don't have to worry about chip damage, so there's no reason not to just play it safe all the time. And SCPs like SCP-106 exploit this to an absurd degree. Like, everybody hates SCP-106, but imagine SCP-106 as he was without Hume Shield. Like, for one, yeah, he'd be unfun as fuck to play as, but... The strategy of, you know, delaying all the time would be tenfold harder because you can't just, you know, take a bit of damage, run away, take a bit of damage, run away, take a bit of damage, run away. Like, he can't do that. He's going to die eventually. Um, which is why I think Hume Shield is actually... Hume Shield as a concept is pretty good. It's just the way it functions, the way it is gained and regenerated over time, that is the core issue. I think Hume Shield needs to go from being an entitlement that the SCPs can get just by waiting a couple seconds to a reward. Instead of um, giving SCPs Hume Shield for just waiting around not taking damage, all the SCPs need to be given Hume Shield as a reward or an interaction of some kind. Like, for example, literally, the best example of this is SCP-049 and SCP-049-2. This is an example of Hume Shield done perfectly. In order for the zombies to get Hume Shield and basically get 25% more health, and therefore a 25% increase to the entire horde of zombies' collective pool of health, they need to be next to 049 when he's using his recall ability, which has a lengthy cooldown and requires them to actually group up in order for the um, mass Hume Shield regeneration to be effective. Because like. One zombie with sh one zombie with shield like that. Okay, what's that gonna do? That's an extra hundred health. Um, if all the zombies are collecting together, and there's ten of them, that's a thousand more health, which is which is a lot. It's a lot more interesting because it's earned, and you don't have to worry about like if you shoot a zombie and they run away, you don't have to worry about chasing that zombie and having their health you know restored after uh, twenty seconds. Like they're still probably gonna be damaged. Um, and if you apply this to the rest of the SCPs, this would actually be perfect because it punishes the SCP for failing to get a kill. Because right now, what happens is an SCP, you know, 
gets into the line of fire of a human. Um, the human fires a couple shots, the SCP runs away, cowers, and who, who, who loses that interaction? The SCP is the person who walks into the line of fire of the human, right? They made the mistake. They're the one who fucks up. They're the one that gets shot at, takes a bit of human shield damage, and runs away. They're the one who has to retreat. They very clearly lost this engagement. But the person who actually takes the loss is the human, because they just wasted a bunch of ammo. All the SCP has to do is just go hide in a corner for 15 seconds, and boom, they get all that health back. Like, how, how is that fair? Like, the SCP is the one who should lose something. Um, now, if you change it from being regenerating over time to, like, you know, uh, Hume Shield or Health on Kill, if the SCP runs away like that, they lose the interaction. So in order to get their health back, they have to actually commit to a chase or commit to killing somebody. So this way, they they chase somebody, they get hit for maybe 100 or 200, they kill the human, and then they get some Hume Shield restored. And in this case, it's, it's, it's honestly, I think it's perfect. Um, because if the, if the SCP retreats, they don't get anything, they, they've been dealt permanent damage of some kind until they can get another kill, and the human does not feel as if their we uh, effort has been wasted. They still haven't dealt any HP damage, but at least it's a, it's a lasting consequence. It's a lasting consequence that cannot be negated until the SCP gets a kill, you know, takes a risk. It's, it's risk-reward. That's what makes this, that's what makes a lot of games interesting, is t risks and reward. And the current way Human Shield works, there's no risk-reward, it's all risk-free. <laughs> like, you take damage, you run, you wait for it to regenerate, well, there's no risk in that, it's just you're getting rewarded for free for playing like a coward. Which is something I think should really be addressed. So, all the SCP's Human Shields need to be somehow translated from regenerating over time to regenerated as a reward for kill, or playing effectively, or playing properly. As for how to do that naturally, besides just giving health or Hume Shield on kill to every SCP, I, I, I'm not sure. But I think it'd be nice to experiment with this and test the whole health on kill theory first, either in like a pairs test or some other kind of play test, but g give it a try. I think it would be an extremely big improvement to the game flow and it would make playing uh, MTF and Chaos versus SCPs to be a lot more fun. Um, otherwise, I think that's really all I have to say on the subject. Um, have a good rest of your day, y'all.